So same thing we've been working uh, this week. I'm gonna be going for the triangle from the mount position. So a couple points here. I wanna make sure that my legs are pinched in. I don't want him to get one or even both of his elbows inside of my thighs. We can start replacing guard or even like coming out the back door, like uh, bridging and chucking me off. So I need to make sure I have control here. He's doing the correct defense. Um, you know, you can either do this like home alone thing or you can cross your hands, but the core concept here is that he's keeping his limbs like T-Rex really tight to his abdomen. He's not extending them uh, up or out, so it's going to be difficult to, to move them. With that being said, I'm going to choose one. I'm just going to C-cup in his wrist to his chest. That's going to be the leg that I'm going uh, over with. And then I'm going to be grabbing the crown of his head, not the neck. You get more leverage up here, and then I'm reinforcing my elbow on his shoulder. So if he tries to pull down, it's going to be much more difficult than if I had down here. And I can't control him with the neck. He can just keep his head down. So head up, arm in, throwing this over. So I'm just hitting him with the, the back of my knee here. And while I did that, I used that momentum to slide this other knee up. So now I have contact between my heel and my knee. So if he's still flaring this out, which he very well may be, just try to get wide and defend the triangle. Two on one, push this to the side. I can now lean forward. So if he tries to pull this back, it's gonna be difficult. And then if I have the dexterity, I can just lean a little bit, lock this up um, if I need more space. Still keeping this pressure with my stomach. Just coming down to my forearm, cinching it in, coming back. I don't care if he tries to flare that elbow right now, but I'm uh, flexing my thighs and I'm squeezing in. So I'm just trying to close off that space. Arm, head, not flaring it out here or down here, reinforcing. This comes up in one motion. Connection is made clear. I'm going to immobilize this over and I'm locking that up. Make sure that you're grabbing your chip and not like your actual foot. So you're gonna put torque on your ankle. Right. Switch this up. If you want to, you can, you can even start to like lean down. Um, you're just kind of like adding a smother component. And then if you pull his head up, you're closing off one point a little more. Questions on that? One, two. 